First released in 2019 at the Venice Film Festival, Waiting for the Barbarians is a really interesting sort of film. The promotional poster has Johnny Depp, Robert Pattinson and Mark Rylance in 19th century French style military clothing. They all look tense like they're in a battle together, presumably with the aforementioned barbarians. I mean, just look at it. Rylance looks like a grizzled general. Depp looks like a senior officer, perhaps a major or a colonel, while Pattinson looks the model of a young lieutenant or captain. Hey, this looks good, you might think, looking at that poster. But how does it play out? Well, I think the first thing to say is the film is nothing like the expectation. Based on a 1980 novel of the same name by J.M. Curtsy, Rylance is the magistrate who administers a kind of military outpost slash town on the desert frontiers of an empire which, again from the uniforms, seems French, but is actually meant to be an unnamed, completely made up empire. The location of the outpost itself seems to be somewhere like Mongolia, based on the terrain and the locals, but again, it's not named. This magistrate character is a passive sort of peacekeeper in charge of some army personnel at the outpost and doesn't have an issue with the natives of the land they're in. The outpost gates, for example, are always open. He even relates an anecdote to another character at one stage in the film that the natives expect to simply outlast the empire, which they assume will just pull up stumps and leave one day. Enter Johnny Depp, a senior officer in the military police. He quizzes the magistrate on how things are going and seems quite concerned that the frontier isn't being well patrolled or policed and that the barbarians are actually a serious problem when the audience can see that they haven't been. Depp's character proceeds to rough up the locals. He captures some, interrogates a few of them, extremely brutally, I've got to say, and one even dies from this treatment. Then, his job done, for the moment at least, he then leaves the magistrate to look after the mess. What follows is a personal journey for the magistrate and his relationship with one particular barbarian. To say more really enters into spoiler territory, but I can assure you this is an intriguing road to go down and a comment on real life empires that have stretched out into far-flung outposts like this where some individuals have tried to understand the locals, but most haven't. In time, just as the barbarians know, the empires will sometimes just up and leave. Just have patience. Impressive acting turns come from Rylance, Depp and Pattinson, particularly Pattinson really playing against type here. This is one of the many films in that run of post-Twilight movies where you sense he was just grabbing the chance to play anything and everything that was different to what he'd been in Twilight. I mean, a kid from the southern United States in a nightmare Australian wasteland scenario? That was the rover. A weirdo in a lighthouse in, well, the lighthouse. And this role feels very much part of that same please don't cast me as a pretty boy type of thing. It's really good. Overall, Waiting for the Barbarians is a slow, quiet, almost meditative kind of film. It's not an action film by any stretch. Don't let that poster fool you. To put it incredibly simply, it features people being good to one another and people being absolutely horrible to one another. It's a really interesting film to watch. And I've got to say, by the time the credits rolled, I just sat in my chair and stared at the blank TV screen and just thought about it for a while. Yeah, it's that kind of film. Now, I'm confident Waiting for the Barbarians won't make anyone's top 10 or top 20 films, maybe not even their top 50 or top 100, but it's certainly a film I think could come to the lips of anyone who's seen it when they're asked, what's an off the beaten track kind of film to watch this weekend? Something that will make me think. Something that no one talks about. I think this is the kind of film they'd recommend. Rotten Tomatoes wise, the film's currently polling at 53% from the critics and 63% from the audience, which is surprising to me because this kind of thinking person's film that 
needs a little going on upstairs to appreciate is usually something the critics are all over and Joe Public is less enthused by, so that reversal of the scores surprises me honestly. Anyway, have you seen Waiting for the Barbarians? Why not let me know your thoughts down below in the comments.